Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make some fall leaves using broccoli. We have our broccoli here. This is fresh broccoli, so don't get cooked broccoli. That would be too squishy. I have a little cup of water for when I want to change colors. This is a stack of paper towels. We'll definitely need that. We have some white multimedia paper. Um, which is a little bit thicker than like printer paper so it won't wrinkle and get soggy from the paint. This is a piece of aluminum foil. We'll use that to set our broccoli on when it has paint on it. We don't want to get it on the table. But you could use a paper towel or a plate or whatever. This is a styrofoam plate that I'm using for my paint and uh, I have some fall inspired and tree kind of tree colors here. We have brown, red, orange, yellow, and green. I have two different sizes and shapes of uh, paintbrush. You don't have to have that, but I wanted to have two different ones. So let me show you the finished examples. This is one that I did. This is one that my five-year-old daughter did. This is one that my seven-year-old daughter did. They really had a lot of fun with that. So what we're, what we're gonna be doing is first painting the tree trunk and the branches. Then we'll use the broccoli to stamp what looks like leaves all over the tree. So we'll take a white piece of paper to start and I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna clean this yellow off and use this, this brush. You don't wanna start at the very bottom edge, but you don't wanna start in the center either. So you wanna start kind of in the middle, lower part of the page and make yourself a tree trunk. If you don't know what a tree trunk looks like, just from your mind, just go outside for a minute and look at some of those. They're kind of like fingers. Okay, so I think that's good for now. So now, from your big broccoli floret, you can break off a small piece, about like this, and pick your first color. So I'm gonna pick, I like to go from darkest to lightest because if you start with yellow, then it'll just end up getting covered up by all the other darker colors. So I'm gonna start with some brown. And I think I'm gonna combine it with some red. And I'm just very gently stamping the broccoli in here. You wanna be really gentle. See, a little piece just fell off. These little pieces will fall off and it'll make your paper kind of yucky. So um, just be real gentle with that. And then I like to use a paper towel to dab it just a little bit so that I don't get a bunch of big blobs. So I'm gonna start stamping around the branches. And it's okay if you go over top of the branches a little bit. So then I'm gonna lay, it, lay my broccoli down right here so I don't get paint everywhere. 
So this is my first, my first layer, just a little bit of red and brown there. So then I can either use the same broccoli or I can break off a new piece of broccoli. I'm going to use a new piece and I'm going to do some orange now. And again, I'm going to use my paper towel to blot some of that off. And I'm going to start stamping. Again, be really gentle so you don't get pieces of broccoli all over your paper. Okay, I'm going to put my broccoli down there. And now I'm going to switch to yellow. I'm going to blot some of that off of there. we've got brown, red, orange, and yellow. So you can do as much or as little as you want and then after You might want to wait for your tree trunk to dry before you do the grass. So then you'll have a nice little fall tree. Mm -hmm. 